choose and they all just change colors. Party choose. Yeah, yeah, I find it funny that literally the the only nunchuck I have that has a perfect up notch is that third party pink one I have. That's the only nunchuck that doesn't have issues holding perfect up. It, it annoys me to no end. Oh my god, I can hold kind of up right now. So good. How you doing, Sledgen? Hey. See a company name in all caps for third party. I love that, dude. You're going on Amazon and it's like huh? some random ass company that you've never heard of making like basically replica controllers. It's so good. It's like replica controllers with like the name, like the logo. You can still see like where the logo is meant to be. They just like scratch it out. I find that shit so funny. <laughs> and I don't know how they do it, but like. Third-party companies always find a way to make their controllers, like, just a little bit shit. It's never, like, perfect. Even the replica ones that are meant to be, like, really similar, they always have some sort of defect. There's always something wrong with them. Like, third- I remember I got a lot of third-party GameCube controllers, because, like, when I was first buying some, I didn't really know the difference, so I just bought a third-party one. And the stick on that thing is so, like, death stiff. Like, I actually have it still. So. I think it's like in the thing somewhere, but the control stick on that thing is so stiff. And like, I didn't realize it at the time. I was like, oh, it's just like, this is a normal GameCube controller. Then I bought an, a, like, I had an official one, like, that was old. I was like, oh my god, wait, what is this stick? Like, why, why doesn't it move? I remember, that was a fun time. I also wonder if third party nunchucks might be okay. Probably. Like low key, I might have more success with those than with the official one when it comes to getting a better notch. I also wonder if I can like open up my nunchuck and fix something in it, but I'm, I'm not knowledgeable enough about uh, mod like controller modding. <laughs> Tech Nintendo Wii Nunchuck for Wii compatible with Wii U and Motion Plus Accessory Pack. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, Amazon is so good for those. Just random ass, like, Wii Nunchuck, or, like, controllers for, honestly, every console. My favorite is the, uh, off-brand Joy-Cons. Those are so funny. <laughs> They're so wrong, like... It'll just be way too big or like random ass colors. I love those. It's like, who's gonna use these? I actually bought a pair of third party Joy Cons. Fun. And I was like, are, are these gonna be better than the original? And they were not. They were bad. Like, they look the exact same as a normal Joy-Con, but, like, they lack a lot of the... Like, the buttons feel like... like, death. I don't know. <laughs> like, every, it, it felt like it looked official, but it just didn't feel official. Like, you can tell there was so much wrong with it.
Honestly, I love like controllers, like I find them interesting, but I've started to hate game controllers recently because I just always find they're a cause of a headache at this point. Like every time I go to buy a controller, it's not because like I need a new controller, it's because it's like something went wrong with my old one, I need to fix it. And the controller mark is really hard to navigate and it's hard to get good stuff nowadays because a lot of the stuff is like, oh, like a game controller. Unless you get like one of the first party Nintendo ones, like you you are like at the luck of the dice when it comes to buying a good one. The yeah, airbone broke, yeah. I'm happy my GameCube controller luckily has lasted me a really long time. I th I've had the same GameCube controller since I started with Wind Waker like two years ago. That controller has lasted me a while. I'm really happy with it. It's just one of the Smash Brand ones. I find, that, honestly, those Smash Brand controllers are really good. I've had zero issues with it, so... Like, I'm absolutely not gonna buy a used GameCube controller. I feel like those are gonna break way too easily. Cause I had a, like, I had a, an old GameCube controller that I used for like a little bit and after just a little bit of like, it did not survive Super Smash Bros. Melee for very long, I'll just say that. Like, after like playing Melee for a few weeks, it just died on me, like it didn't take too long, the stick started giving up. I don't know, retro game controller is just, I'm just like I assume the N64 controller is also like even worse. Cause I know those things are prone to being shit. I'm switch pro. <laughs> I still don't know how people play Wind Waker without notches, but I mean if it works, it works. Yeah, I find not just so important for Wind Waker, but... I mean, if it's all you have, then yeah, I think you, you can still do all the same stuff. You know, I, I would assume the N64 controller market, though, is, like, awful. Because, like, GameCube controllers are already rough, but I feel like... So many people want them that it's not hard to find good ones, and like there's modern day um, game controllers you can buy, like the Smash ones. I don't even know what you do for N64 controllers. Like, that thing is so old, and I don't- I feel like the only people who really use, who like need new ones in high demand are like speedrunners. And so I don't think the market is as good for those. I, I don't know if you can just buy high quality N64 controllers anymore, so... But I think that's like... The, the, I also think N64 controller I know has a terrible stick. Um... Like, the joystick on that thing is terrible, so it dies super easily. Um... So I think that also could be, like... I think you, I feel like a lot, I think a lot of people use replacement sticks nowadays, because it just dies. Yeah, I feel like there's a few things in Wind Waker that, like, I use not just for... I know the, the most, the random one I use them for... I use them for all my roll clips. That's the biggest one. Uh, well, not all of them. I use them for some of them. But I found them like roll clipping, having a consistent angle for that's really nice. 
Uh, it helps with setups for some other roll clips. Like, I don't use the notches for Jaboons or uh, ET Command Skip. I don't use the notches for those, because you can. Like, the perfect notch angles just don't uh, let you do the trick. You need to have, like, a slight angle. Then the notches let you find the slight angle you need really easily. So even though it's not in a notch, it's still not that bad. Dude, yes. And 60 yeah, not nice for uh Switch Pro with notches and a better D-pad, yeah, the dream. It's funny how like everything about the Switch Pro controller is, like, is amazing, and then you get to the actual like control, the control stick and D-pad, and it's just awful. But not the control stick, but I mean the fact it doesn't have notches is pretty awful. And that D-pad, man. Dear god. <laughs> that thing is awful. It's the uh, command stone skip, the one that the uh, roll clip in basement to skip playing the song with medley. Because that one's like a really precise roll clip. You need to have a pretty good angle for it. find, I don't know, like, what the best are, but so, I want to try running Zelda 1 in the future, I don't know why, and I started playing it, and I had a, I, I was kind of thinking, like, what controller do I use for Zelda 1? Because I don't want to use, like, I don't have an N60 or NES controller. I have, well, okay, I have the NES Mini. But that thing doesn't like allow for save states or anything, so it's not really great for practice. Um, and I don't really have any other like ways to play it. I guess I can play on keyboard, but I should get a like NES controller or something. Oh, I'm not supposed to fly up. Not to fly. That's so cool. Oh yeah, yeah. See, I don't even go for those leaf pumps. I used to. I just don't even go for them anymore. I'm so bad at them. I feel I fail them so often that I don't even care. Like, I rather not. Do that. I mean, that was like a sus. I, I fail. I flapped early, and that fucked up any sort of setup I would have had. So I'm not surprised it was terrible, but. Switch Pro feels nice. I guess you can see that, yeah. And I love the Switch Pro controller. Like, for Smash, that thing is awesome. It's easily my favorite controller. Like, um, I don't honestly, I don't really like GameCube controllers that much. I know it's like everyone's favorite. I like it for Wind Waker. I think it feels nice, and I like that it has notches. But like, I don't really, I don't like. I tried using it for Smash, and I didn't really like it. Um. But, yeah, to me, it's a shame that, like, I, again, I, I, don't see, I don't see how I can use, like, a Switch Pro controller. I mean, I think, I'm, I guess if I started with it for Wind Waker, I can get used to it. But for now, like, at this point, I'm so used to notches that it would just not work. But, but the Switch Pro layout is really good, though. Like, if it didn't have the bad D-pad and no notches, it would be perfect controller. For me, at least. <laughs> Zelda 1 for I want to do Zelda 1, like, you know, up in A, 8%. I, think, I feel like that would be a fun one. I don't know. I've been, like, looking into other Zelda speedruns that are not that long that I can do when I'm in school. I'm thinking that one actually could be fun. <laughs> I also, so I was looking at the leaderboard and apparently you could do Zelda 1 on mobile and it's loud. Like you can submit a mobile emulator Zelda 1 speedrun. <laughs> so should I be the first to get 
mobile emulator to sell the one. I actually don't know if I can. I have an Apple phone, so I don't even know if I can get those like phone emulators, but. It's so awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's now the one mobile world record whilst on a train, yeah. Low key, that actually does sound kind of fun. Like, if you're just like on a train or something, like, you need to, you're just on like public trans like, transit or something, and it's like every day you just sit down and do a Zelda 1 run or something. Isn't there like the Game & Watch too? I think you could, there's like that new Game & Watch thing that Nintendo came out with. I think you can use that too. I think that's legal. Game though, that's kind of my like goal. After I'm done with all dungeons, I want to learn something new. Because at this point, I feel like I've like achieved so many like goals and scoured sword and spirit tracks. So I'm kind of like I I think it's finally time for me to move on. At least from like these games for a while. Also, because nothing's happened in this game for a while, so. And there's like a few things I want to do, but like I'm still kind of waiting on a new trick to kind of re get my interest because at this point we're kind of like we are pretty far deep in a drought for uh, new tricks. The last major thing was FFB, and even then, FFB didn't really change the routes that much, it more so just made things faster. So I'm waiting for the next like big route shakeup to. Uh, get back into it. But. Right, I also have to focus on Wind Waker for a while. I haven't done a lot of Wind Waker practice because I know it's going to be a little while to my next match. But. I think Alex and Sis play, or Alex and Sis play tonight, but I play the winner of that. But I still have a little bit to wait. When's your uh, first race landing? Isn't it soon? I, I assume you haven't done your round one yet. Okay, so it's on Saturday. Cool. Yeah, I got I literally did the first race at the tournament. I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna I don't know when I'm gonna schedule with Alex. I realistically it would be nice if I can do it before school starts, but like my school starts next Tuesday. And I'm thinking of just like I have to schedule with him like immediately and be like, alright, we're racing tomorrow. <laughs> like, I don't know. I uh I'm probably gonna spend this week like prepping for school and then just do it on some weekend. Assuming Alex wins. Alex or Sis, I should say. Who well, I presume Alex will win, but can't say for certain. It's best of one, anything can happen. I am terrified to face Alex. <laughs> We've only played once before. 
in like tournament. I played him in SGL and I lost. To be fair though, that race is bullshit. <laughs> I missed Peach uh, scale the wall and that's why. But I think I was ahead by a lot. I think I was ahead by a lot. I ended up. I don't know if it was a miss. Peach. I think I just forgot it. But <laughs> that's that ended up like sealing my fate. Oh, let's go, viewer bots. Is challenging a first round best of three? Intentional? Oh, wait. I thought this is the other one. I don't know. We kind of go back and forth, so... I am excited to play it. Honestly, though, I'm just happy to be player. <laughs> that was my... all I wanted to do. Because it seems I'm at a like best of three terror or I'm at a best of one, I'm happy. And luckily this tournament there's only one round of best of one. Um I guess yeah, maybe not. I'd be glad. I don't like best of ones. Best of ones and randomizer are terrifying. I'm kind of scared for whoever, whoever I play next, I'm terrified of. It's gonna be rough. If it's Alex, then that'll just be a really close match. But I don't know. My bracket's like tough, but to be fair, all the brackets this year are tough. Like everyone's gonna struggle. Sure, like I think Yal's bracket is he plays Kit into Laz. If he, like if he if he loses to Kit, he plays Laz. That's tough. Like. I don't even know what like I don't know what everyone else's bracket is, but like the top 16 format honestly is like really hard because there's a lot of like there's a there's so many good runners that like. It's a very crowded bracket, it feels like. It feels like every match can go either way. I hope it doesn't go to Game 3. I hope I win 2-0 and I don't have to worry about a Game 3. But... I, I would like to get a... I would assume Advo's gonna win his races, so... I would like to face Advo in winter semis. That'll be fun. I honestly, I did want to avoid Bobby. He is the only player I wanted to avoid, and I did, so I'm happy about that. No, yeah, Yal vs. Laz is gonna be a crazy race. I mean, they literally finished one point apart in qualifying. One point. And they go back and forth a lot. I also think Yal could be Kit. I think Yal's been playing well recently. 
I want to see him pop off. Like, it, I don't know. I feel like the predictions for top 20, like, for top 16 this year are, like... <laughs> I feel like... I think I've gotten everything right so far, but that was, like... There weren't really any upsets, I'd say. Um, everything's gone according to... I think the only race that hasn't gone according to seeding was Drew vs. Tanjo. And even then, that was 8 vs. 9. So. Like... I feel like it, as it goes on, though, like, I think a lot of people heard that I lose to Claire. I think I killed a lot of people's predictions right off the bat. But... Like, we'll see. There's three seconds of our Jesus. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very even. The Jig Lyric match was also like a heartbreaker. That Lyric almost, almost had it. Hey, nice. All right, this better be a this better be record because I don't want to run this category ever again if this is my PB. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> this is gonna be record because I'm not running against an ED PB. <laughs> not, nope, not happening. All right, so my first two attempts, I did not get EB, so this is I guess third try. <laughs> Fascinating. The loser run, run will be crazy. I, mean, I, th I think there's also like a few matches still to go. But yeah. I, mean, I can see some good losers runs happening. I think Jim plays like Advo next. And so realistically, like, if Jim loses that, then I can see uh, I can see him going on like loser run. You know, that Lyric race was a heartbreaker, though. Because Lyric was like 30 seconds ahead at a... Entering Earth Temple Go mode. And I hate to say it, but she kind of choked a little. End up just being Jim caught up on endgame execution while you practice your endgame. But it was so close to watch. Like, that race was so exciting. It was literally a high roll race, which is crazy. There's a race tonight.
I think that this is gonna be the most chunky best if I start down here. Maybe. Let's see, let's see this best. I think it was like a 50 second, or not, yeah, like 50 something. I was about to do bit on the cutscene skip. What what am I doing? <laughs> I reached over to the reset button. I was thinking to myself. So I've been hearing. I mean, I'm pretty sure like Nintendo's gonna announce a new console soon. <laughs> what if it has a reset button? Like, I wonder, maybe, like, when they announce it, if they announce that it has a reset button on it, which it probably won't, but if it does, then we get SSHD bit. That would be so funny. Like, whenever whenever the reveal comes out, I, <laughs> I'm just going to be, like, pause champing for a, uh, for a reset button. It's so nice, like, playing on 4x3. I, I, I want to quickly mention how nice it is that I don't need to worry about bizarre lag anymore. Like, th these sections with the bizarre used to be so much more difficult. Because you'd have to... You would try to stay on the splash screen the whole time, because... Otherwise, you get horrible lag. Um, it's like the best thing about 4x3 is it completely kills all bit lag, pretty much. Because a segment like that would goes from like, right now, which is like it's fairly easy, you just run past it, to like shockingly difficult to route your A presses.
That's Tiny Chu. Look at him, he's so cute. One day, I don't think I've ever done that they were been ran. I think one day, like if I ever get the magical Elden Volcano into Dead Seed, I think you can do it. But I think actually maybe I have done it once. I think it's happened. I feel like in rando, that's the worst and everything, but because Elvin has a bunch of checks at the beginning that you don't want to skip doing this, uh, you don't want to skip by doing this, you don't really want to do the bit work, but... If you have like Elvin Volcano hinted dead but Mongmature isn't, then you can theoretically still do it. That would be like an, an awesome scene if that existed. <laughs> if I say that again, if that's found, because like Elden Volcano Dead never happens, but I don't think I've ever seen it ever. Maybe in the old settings, I might have seen it before in like season two, before Ruby Sanity, because Elden had a lot fewer checks. But because it used to have only ten, now it has seventeen. Having a seventeen, uh, seventeen check region and hinted dead is like beyond rare, but... Trusting that. <laughs> Hey, 
Usually I go for like the crazy key seed angles. I'm not that crazy. That was ass. <laughs> he was very far off the road. Any percent has conditioned me to just go for it sometimes, like at any percent, I don't really like waiting. I'll just go for keys heat. Um, I, I, I have time to waste in this category. It doesn't even lose much. Let's see if we can actually do Earth Temple properly this time. Because yesterday it was not good. <laughs>
I don't think this run does like any breaks though. There's very little. Does it even do any at all? I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> do you think it doesn't? Do you ever really go insane? So like the bomb it was pulling in the medium drop. So it's unusual. Alright, good fight. Good Earth Temple actually. This doesn't happen very often. Not often does Earth Temple go well. That kinda nailed all the tricks. This split has uh, a little bit of time save on it. Just a little bit. <laughs> Why did I do it again? I, I went to the reset button. Oh my god. It's going crazy. So this split has like four minutes of time save. <laughs> I just don't mess it up. For sake of RBM. This is the first this is the first really annoying RBM of the run. It's the first time you have to fly to Patro's house. And I say when I mean fly, I mean like literally bird fly. Annoying and awkward.
say? Is the voice actor who did this the same voice actor who voices Groot? They sound very similar. <laughs> I wonder, actually. I should check that. Because those laughs were uh, very, like, Roos core. First lumpy die. First instance of pain. I guess we got here sub hour. First lumpy dive sub hour, but. What EB does to you. Oh, what the fuck, dude? 
It's fucking excuse me? Where is it? I was off by so much! Fuck. Ow. What just happened there? Why was my dive so bad? I can't dive. Cool. We killed him. Bro, well, I fucking hate lumpy dives. Why did that fail? Like, give me- I need a ratified document to tell me why that failed. Why did it go off to the side? Like, why did I go- I was, my angle was fine. When I dove off, it was fine. That should not have happened. Bro, I am so annoyed. I have not failed a lumpy dive in so long. It has been fine. Is it just my calibration or something? Did it- was I drifting? Like... I was holding up. Yeah, I'm so annoyed. Why- why does this game hate me today? Or like, recently? Give me the dumbest shit. That should not have missed. That was- that looked so perfect. I was in the thing the whole time too, I don't know. It looked like I was drifting. But I must have drifted a fuck far away. I don't know how. He's right there. I just had to dive fucking forward. Why am I drifting? Dude, come on. Is this my calibration? It has to be. Because I was diving fucking straight. Why was I so far off to the side? I'm so annoyed, dude. Why? Whoa. So stupid. <laughs> I fucking lost time on this split again, dude. That's so fucking stupid. Split is not that hard. Like, it's genuinely not. There's no excuse. The dumbest shit has been happening in this split. Bro, what the fuck? I think really good luck, guys, I am pissed because Lumpy. Oh, the old dungeon's fucking awful. I can't Lumpy dive, apparently. I don't know, I think it's my calibration. I don't know why I've been having so many calibration issues on this new setup, but... I have, like, it just is not cooperating. I did get EV, yeah. But I lost three minutes on the split already, so I don't fucking care anymore. Uh, file. Actually, is that file 2? No, file 3. I don't think it, hope it doesn't matter. It did matter, fuck. I'm fucking pissed. I hate lumpy dives, dude. Why does the trick have to exist? 
yeah, this is file two. I fucking hate the split, dude. The split is. I have never had. Like, my best tier is fucking terrible, and it's annoying me. Because I've messed up something major every single time I did this split. Like, that best is still absolutely terrible. It's, it's bad by three minutes. Category is gonna kill me. Alright, whatever. Still, like, not behind, but I'm still pissed about this one. I, I think the, ne the next big time save, I think, is. Raising LMF RBM. I just gotta make it there. I think there's nothing like too difficult till then though. We're kind of chilling now. Yeah, dude, it's so I need I'm just, I guess I need to practice more lumpy dives because I'm I'm scared though because the one I got I got it the second time but like I was drifting so far out I don't know why my calibration on those has not been good and I just keep drifting far to the side and I need to figure out how to fix it because it's not good to have that. Um, they were consistent yesterday, like, I don't know, yesterday I got all four of them, like, I nailed all of them, but both the times I got, I drifted out, like, and I drifted to the other side. Like, today, I, this time, I drifted out all the way to one side and all the way to the other side, but I was high enough where I can save it. Like, I don't know what was going on. And the ringers showed up too, and they weren't, like, turns, so I thought I was fine, but I was not. I'm pissed. What? Dude, come on. Are this still an iframe? Hey, literally how? I guess I did it too fast. <laughs> Alright. Um. Let's see on this house. 
I need to get unannoyed about that, but I'm so annoyed about that. It's so annoying. <laughs> God, I hate... God, I hate Lumpy. Even when I think Lumpy can't hurt me anymore, it, it still hurts me. I'll never be free. So weird. Wait, it's a crawl. Yeah, so wait, I'm gonna be. <laughs> this run got EB, and I'm kinda sad about it now. <laughs> I was like. I'm gonna have to go against this PB probably, so I'm gonna have to go against an EB run. Oh no. Be careful what you wish for. the, uh, Palakta Slingshot Strat, because in my PB, my PB, uh, I took too much damage on Style Master, so I had to do the Slingshot Strat, and I actually got it, and it didn't feel that bad, and I might learn it just to, uh, make, because you actually save a lot of time if you go for it, you skip damaging, like, four times, like, you skip, like, four bomb animations, which I think is probably, like, 20 seconds or something. But I might try and learn it so I can get it more consistent. And it's good for rando too, actually. If you're like, if you take too much damage in cistern, and and you're playing rando, like it's good to know. So I should probably just learn it. <sighs> you certainly are persistent. Dude, I haven't seen Kalak pause in like three years. Like a lock plus is tiny. <laughs> was that ever fixed? I feel. I feel like that was. Like, did we like put it somewhere else? Losing time here? What? <laughs> what did I mess up? <laughs> yeah, wait, where did I lose 10 seconds? What? <laughs> I was like a good sister, I thought. Did I mess something up? No. 
Oh, maybe maybe my PB got the Style Master one cycle. Or I got like the, the six hits. Whatever. So we're not having scale there. I was so prepared to do the scale movement. I see the water dragon in the sky. Let me do this. Nah, I don't need... Uh, nah, I didn't see her. Might be a different camera angle you need. Oh my god, wait, I'm gonna save time on the split. I didn't get the uh, fire text. Yes, dude, let's go. Shoutouts to Eevee. <laughs> so we're gonna save like 20 seconds here because we got EV earlier. No, I don't do the new AB strap, I'm just going for the old one. I think if I were grinding this category more, I'd learn it, but uh... I don't know, I, just haven't, I haven't really felt like practicing it, so I'm just... And I'm, I only have like a week to do runs of this, so I'm just kinda YOLOing them. I don't know. I'll learn it eventually. I never got very good at it. Like I tried it a little bit, like what, like a long time ago, and I never got good at it. So oh, I'm lame. All right, I'll do, I'll do. I did the Stone Catch RBM first last time, so we're gonna do the Nair Trial RBM first this time. Keep it fresh. Considering uh, I now have a PB with EB, maybe I should actually learn a new strat so I get it more often. Maybe it'll be worth it. Well, okay, I say I get it, I have PB. I, this run I assume will PB. I think the chances I lose more than 30 minutes in the last split are like below zero. So I think by no matter what will PB. I hope. I really hope. Guys, you don't understand, like... <laughs> Wait... Scroll it? Hello? I can't scroll my splits! It's fine. Uh... 
Look at the difference between these two splits. <laughs> that is not a 30 minute split. That's like at least like a three minute split maybe. <laughs> not even like. Uh, there's gonna be a little bit of time safe there. I don't know. We can't have this in my chat. <laughs> Oh wait, I guess it unmodded you. Oh wait, I'll give that back. I have to wait like three minutes because I have to do the trial first, but... Yeah, I revoked your sword, so... that if you time on a mod, they die, I guess. I'll go. It's going good! I failed the lumpy dive though, and I'm pissed about it. Other than that, it's going alright. Hi, you doing, Pippi? I'm still salty. Still salty about my calibration going off the rails, but... In all honesty, this one's fun. I got EB earlier, so I, I think the luck is on my side today. Doing pretty well. Um, I don't know what the next RNG thing is. Crush your PB? Got it. I understand the assignment. Hey, Brandino. Hey, for the good luck. Good. That movie is so awkward. But not lumpy dives exactly. All luck, no skill. I should not have a mod anymore anymore. I haven't done this in a while, so you I will not stop changing. There we go. What the? <laughs> that was really weird camera angle. Alright, so this is the uh, EB time save. 
<laughs> that mood one camera idea. Yeah. Shoutouts to Extending Glow, my homie. If I work, they have the good luck. Alright, alright. So this split also has time save. <laughs> so my PP died to the Octorok and bit, and then... I, I don't know what happened, but I had to turn off my Wii, I think, so... It was not great. Hopefully this RPM doesn't go poorly. I'm scared about diving. I don't have to do this. I won't be dive is coming up, and I'm scared about it. Not like right here, but in the future. <laughs> Off memory engine and Python, nice. <laughs> Dive straight. Uh, that's a little too straight. Alright, so this is the sus RBM. Because I can't hit A for like a long time. Well, I can't go off the the splash screen after I skip this cutscene. Making SSR Archipelago? Let's go. Guys, we need it. One day it'll happen, I swear. Controls on Dolphin, yeah. Make an auto tracker? Wait, that's sick. Yeah, I didn't die this time. Crying in no splash screen log jump? Yeah, sorry, I'm not a masochist. I don't like doing tricks that are way too difficult. That, like, splash screen log jump is awful. I usually like going for like crazy shit, but not, not that. I draw the line there. that bad. I don't know, it scares me. It just scares me too much. I guess I can see how you do it actually. You just hit minus and then do it, but I don't know. I'm I'm chill. I'll 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 take the coward's way out. <laughs> I'll code that instantly kills Link by the crowd flag to zero, let's go. Mobile like mobile crop files. <laughs> What if we had corrupt files IRL? 
What if you like wake up one morning and then your health goes to zero? I guess, yeah, if you're like really like hyper focused on it, yeah. I find sometimes like I'll fail logged on by not getting a roll, so I guess if you like do the input more, more like viciously, I guess. I don't know. Three separate answers Iron deficiency, death, and depression. And low key, they're all right. Musketeers. I've been at like half a heart for such a long time. Ever since Style Master, I've been at half a heart. Or I guess not Style Master, uh, Collectives. This is a while. Oh my god, wait. Does anyone here remember Quarter Heart RTA? <laughs> I remember there was like an idea for a, a meme category that was like, because in hero mode the only way to get up to a corner heart is with a guardian potion and then you get hit by like a morph or something. <laughs> or I guess they're called burrs, oh, you're right. Uh, so there was a meme category of like how fast can you do that. Oh, I guess bees work too. Yeah. I, I think it will. I don't know where the first beehive is though. I feel like it's easier to get to like a morph or a bird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say morph. I'm sorry. Morph is a better sounding name. <laughs> They're the little green spiky things in Farron that blow up on you. All soups. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what the optimal to get to Levias. I think it, what you have to be. Would it just be you do EBR like the old EBR any percent route? I think that's what you do. I think you need Scrapper for Levias. You just like I think what you would do is you would do the old any percent route that did EBR, like to get a time RBM and went to the past, got TMS, then you just do the sequence to get up. You also have to get Cell Cloth, I guess. Personally, I was faster despite not having Harp. It's great, because it means we don't have to do another Lumpy Dive, so. Uh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, the last we have a long beat up coming up, and I hate them. You need cell cloth to get spiral charge, because uh, Alan's door is closed unless you have the cell cloth. And I don't think you can get the soup until you get the spiral charge. <laughs> Lol. That's what not dying gets you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just that. It's old any percent with EBR and and uh, get a time RBM. Get TMS. Watch the cutscenes. Go to the sky. Get spiral charge. Get the soup. I think it's that. Yeah, you need spiral charge to activate Levias. How's the run going? I felt a lumpy dive and I was mad about it. And but we're, we're still going all right. Now we have another lumpy dive coming up though, and it's kind of scaring me. Like this, our, this bit is lumpy. Fail me now, Lumpy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet time. No. Okay, cool. Idiot of B looks kind of weird. Yeah, I mean. It does. You just do some shit and then you you get on the bird. Thank you for the rate of 110, Jesus. What's up? Yeah, welcome to, uh... SSL Dungeons. If you look, Kylie and Lucas. Yeah, welcome to, uh... Well, Sandship, I guess. Ahead. We're uh, just 
doing some TV attempts. And yeah, we're just chilling. Uh, yeah, Basky puzzle not included. Half the dungeon is gonna be kind of skipped, so. But... Still get this guy. That's to the shark head being open despite. Is it the same as the stone cash, the stone cash statue one, or is it like just R B M the sword? So it's first frogs. What is that one? Cause I don't remember that one. Oh wait, is it the uh yeah the tutorial gossip stone? Yeah. I remember that now. It's the same as the gear him one. It's the gear him one skip too. That was never faster. Or I guess faster in like that one round. Hey, Spouse Feasting. <laughs> when I get to the end of the run, like the pace pals are gonna be going crazy. <laughs> We're gonna be 30 minutes ahead at the end, so. Get excited. I mean, is he a pacifist? Oh my god, pacifist percent. Best category. My aim. <laughs> Game is terrible. Has anyone even done a pacifist run of this game? I don't think I've ever seen one. I know Battle Cats has done it for HD, but. Oh, wait, you guys both did it? Oh. Like WCW, by the way. How do you do it for HD? I think it's pretty much the same as any like normal any percent. You just uh, you do something. I think you do like G3 escape the skip board. I think it's literally like just any percent. <laughs> it's just any percent, but you don't kill stuff. I don't know what else you can skip. I think there's something else you can do with it. I don't remember what. But yeah, I mean, HD, it's not that interesting. Was that the different HD? I don't think they are. You just, had, you just couldn't do the same route, like, at all. Yeah, it's low kill percent. But like, even then, low kill percent isn't that interesting, because HD can't do that much. You basically just have to play the game by ignoring everything, which, I mean, it's not that bad, but... There's a few things that actually are difficult to not kill. Like, frogs are annoying to not, to not kill. They sometimes just die on their own, but... 
I guess if you don't kill them, I wonder if that counts. I'm pretty sure all it does is it skips one of the bottles you get for FS, and that's it. I don't think HD can skip anything else. It's a completely pointless category. I'm just trying to figure out a way to make HD2 KC pretty much. Like, you can maybe make it so, like, you try and use the B wheel as little as possible. But, yeah, low key pressing. Or not B, I guess it would be like, hey, just selecting the menu. For HD, like, HD low percent would literally just be any percent, except you do FS entry with one ball. That's the entire category. Really? I'm cool. I don't think anything else changes. Yeah, low Z art presses would actually be interesting, though. You do, like, PC, you do bomb the skull there. Honestly, there's a few like cool strats. You do like Boko pushing too. You do Boko pushing for uh, the deep with vine, which automatically kind of makes it not viable for people, but it be fun. That, actually, that sounds way more interesting than, like than I'm thinking. Yeah. Towards the end, you'd have to start doing stuff normally again, but. You get the shot. You'd also do the, uh, if you guys remember the, uh, in Skyview, there's a strat, like, it's a strat that's technically faster, but no one does it because it's, like, basically impossible. There's a, uh, a strat you can do... where you jump from the map chest to the, uh... To the first small key chest, that would skip a B wheel usage because you'd skip a. Um... Something, yeah. You'd skip a slingshot piece. But again, that's a strat that is basically task only, so. That was so slow. Oh my god. Sorry, Jess. I'm gonna have to turn off your stream. Tenless is so boring that I would prefer to do literally anything else. If I want to see Mike Wazowski get beaten up, I go watch Monty War. Fair enough. I don't blame you. <laughs> Sound like a copy pasta? Yeah, I think I think that I think that could be a new copy pasta. See, I used to just run ads during Tenless. My thought process being the ad is more interesting than the fight. <laughs> Which may still run true. Hey, Sir Smiley. Thank you for the good luck. Huh? That's a terrible idea. I mean, yeah. What else are you gonna want? Like, what? Do you wanna watch Tetalus? Like, the choice is yours. Framer. 
You got your chat attention to Wiggle so you don't do that on the skip. Fair enough. What other cool strats would you do? I think the first mandatory B press in without like any way of skipping it is the uh getting the beetle chest. Opening that. And then there's like a lot more after that you have to do. But... No, it's just swag. Did Tenskip for the first time in in a year after doing a failed GDQ submission? Nice. Yeah, the LMF one is actually a time saver. That one doesn't save time. See, you can do that with all of the prompts, actually. Like, you can do it there, you can do it in, uh... After Cistern, but... The Cistern one actually loses time. <laughs> you don't want to do that one. Tech time? That sucks. Alright. Okay, I gotta remember, I need to select file 1 before I land, otherwise it will be a disaster. See, the lot of bit travel is fun, because it's cool, the only annoying thing with it is it's hard. <laughs> it adds a lot of skill to this category that wasn't previously there. Like, it, it's a, it's way more difficult than just, like, walking, so... Because it is easy to mess up. Like, if you hit file 1, if you, like, mess up your files at all, like, if I selected file 1 during there, I'd crash. And if I, uh, select, if I didn't select file 1 in time when I landed, I early thunderhead and if i select file two too early i uh, early thunderhead so there's so much that can go wrong but it is cool oh yeah no problem that see, see i don't i don't do seed vetting very often so it was an, inter it was an interesting experience i don't actually i haven't looked at scouts with spoiler logs in a while like if, if there's like a spoiler log tournament i don't know what i'm gonna do Reading spoiler logs is not my strength. But it was alright. Uh okay. This is I should I should actually do some spoiler log. I think spoiler log Wind Waker could be fun actually. I have never done it. I've done like a few SLs in Scoured Sword and I did never I never did very well in them. Yeah, SDR spoiler log gets a little crazy. <laughs> it, there's a lot of like whack ass strats you can do. Because all, all of a sudden, a lot of like the whack ass bits that I've never seen before are all of a sudden useful. So. What high flip in the sand trip? What? What are you talking about? I have no idea. Yeah, spoiler log's wild. It's really fun. 
The nice thing is that, like, it's... If you want, like, something more interesting than just, like, a normal seed, like... You can- you get to do a lot of crazy stuff. The bad part is that you have to do a lot of crazy stuff. And so, like, it gets a little wild. You're- you always need to open the seed flag sheet, because I feel like there's almost always a random RBM that you've never done before that you need to do. That happens a lot. And you're gonna have to know all, all the whack-ass strats, because they always come in handy as a log. It's annoying, but they- they always end up being useful. Oh, right, yeah. That high flip is useful, actually? Oh my god. I remember that, I, I remember that high flip. The one where you jump over the chains. Oh my god, it's been ages. <laughs> yeah, that's an old strat. I mean, it was never a strat, it, never, it was never useful, but... I remember that now. Yeah, the, the planning time for this game should be a little higher, yeah, I, I would agree. We need, like, uh, we need at least an hour planning. I don't know, I have some weird memories. I just remember there was one... My favorite spoiler log thing, I, I think some of you were there, like, to play it, but... I remember one time, we all, we all did a no logic spoiler log race. And the seed was technically beatable, but it was only beatable by duping 70 individual crystals. <laughs> like, you had to do bit duping, like, go to bit, collect it, and dupe. You had to do that 70 times to get claw shots. And, yeah, 70 individual. Because claw shots was on bat 70, but then all you needed to do was get to sky key. And after that race, I believe it was EL, discovered the dive to Sky Keep. Like, he discovered that during the race because he didn't want to get 70 crystals individually. <laughs> so that's how we figured, that's how we discovered that dive. That's my best mode of memory with this game. But... It was dupe 70 individuals. I'm pretty sure you did. It, maybe it was someone else. I thought I thought it was you though. Yeah. I don't remember who was in. I can check your race time. It was, it was a. I don't need to get that. They were all. It was like I remember Lepe was in that race specifically. Oh, was it B? It might have been B cats. Yeah. Maybe it was B cats. That was fun. That was, that, that was the spoiler log experience right there. We didn't, none, none of us finished, by the way. Like, we were not duping 70 individual crystals. We're not insane. But... I just know it's like a lot more unrestricted than uh, Wee Bit is. See, it's weird because it's it's unrestricted, but then you also lose Bit Warping, so it's both unrestricted and a little more restricted, which just means you're gonna probably have to do more crazy bits. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh my god. Slash bow skip, oh my god. That's awesome.
Is that just a random thing or is that like a vanilla bug? Checking the pirate stronghold statue, what, a, what an RBM. Oh my god. That's an incredible RBM. on the light pillar late I think not go invisible <laughs> what they work without the autosave method the, the text stays there nice cool <laughs> sitting there like guys can we get a reason like that, that's what i'm gonna want to see more than anything else it would be so funny if hd got bit because they just added a reset button yeah, it's all we need technically but you're saying it was enough really oh It's like the trigger for bit. Is it like some other? Is it just some like function that resetting does that enables it or something? Uh, I think it would be hilarious if uh, somehow we get bit patched into HD, but or we just get the like, the means to actually perform it on a better console, but... I mean, what's the chance Switch Pro has a... reset button, let's be real, but... Oh, right, yeah, I should damage. I want to make the thing go faster, though. Do I damage to two? I'll just damage to this. I'll just do it in case I get hit in a uh, Gavi room. <laughs> There's too many memes to do on there. <laughs> what do I even do? Ha, I missed it. How was you do I use the GameCube uh, reset button? Yeah. Dude, whoever came up with the GameCube reset button, like, function, the input combo is so... Like, that... I love that combo so much. Not having to actually use the physical reset button on your Wii. <laughs> Like, I remember when I started out playing with Maker Rando, I always, like, hit the reset button physically, and I... It was, like, astonishing to me when I realized you didn't have to do that. Yeah, I didn't know about it at first, and I think Jim told me about it. <laughs> was I hit it too early? Oh, no.
Alright, so here's the challenge. Can I not get light fruits? So, yesterday, I actually, I got through all of the trials without getting a single light fruit. It was sloppy, but we did it, so let's see if we can do it again. They're everywhere. Rambla jump back in? No. God, I actually used to go for Rambla jump there, and you guys don't understand how much time I lost going for it. It was so stupid. It was so stupid. I. Wow, I've never missed that. Far over. That was, that, that was like so suspicious. So tempting. Yeah, I mean it is. I think it is technically faster. I would assume at least. But, like you shouldn't do it. Like it's a bad idea. What is going on in this cow trial? Okay, I can I can totally make it past this guy, right? Come on. <laughs> that was so sus. I don't know where this guy. I think this watch is gonna be in a bad cycle too, because he was yesterday. Eh, I should be able to make it. Maybe not. <laughs> Twenty. It was actually a better trial than I had yesterday. <laughs> I got caught twice yesterday, so the time loss was the void and the uh, yeah, failing the cutscene skip. But all right, all right, skip time. Dude, Scout Trail is terrifying sometimes. Like, if it goes poorly, sometimes you just get wrecked. Like, if your last tier is the tier on the lighthouse and you get caught, you're kind of fucked. You can't really do that much. You usually just die. I don't know what the right stamina management is there. You always have too little or too much stamina, I swear. Fellows. Like the claw shots. Yeah, usually you can outrun the watcher. It's not, he's not always bad. Sometimes, like, I got caught yesterday, man. I do, I love the one, like, that one note.
Hardest bow shot in the game. I <laughs> fell like in your house this morning. That's not good. Yeah, when, when will modern architecture get to Skyview standards? When, when we like go to a hotel and then the, the clerk just does a Skyview puzzle and lets you into your room that way. Construction stuff is happening. Oh, okay. Yeah, Skykeep is basically just my house. Yeah, this game doesn't like you, like it doesn't make you invincible or not invincible, uh, intangible when you are going through collision with the claw shot, and it sucks. Yeah, because in Wind Waker you just go through things. Guess how else like clips work? You just go through things. It's great, except, <laughs> I mean, it, it's great in Wind Waker. It sucks. I mean, I get why they made the change, but it sucks because you get your claw shot blocked so much in this game. File two. This is the time you do the same RBM, but you just do everything on file two. Should have enough arrows for this room. Dude, this room is so nostalgic. Like, we never do this room. In HD, you completely skip it. Eat. This room is like nostalgic now. 
Because the only time you do it now, you skip it on Nova, you skip it... You don't skip it on Hundo. This category and Hundo are the only categories where you do it. But... Remember the days of doing Sky Keep at any percent? Good times. What? So empty. <laughs> I like this room. To be fair, I mean, this first part of it isn't that interesting. And even in HD, like, you have to still do this part, but... This is the annoying part. Dude, these shots are hard. Also, thank god you don't have to do this normally. Because this doing this normally sucks. Bringing the uh, orb all the way here. Actually, almost feels kind of fair. That's fair, yeah. Shots. No, I think it's possible in HD too. I do the same stratum bowl. Fair parts aesthetically. Yeah, no, I like them. Um, I don't like the sand chip room. I don't know what the sand chip room is supposed to be, but it's just like a cave. It's very uh, not interesting. This room, yeah, it's this doesn't feel the same as LMF does. It's the same aesthetic, but it doesn't feel the same. Um, I mean, the FS room is not bad, but it's also the FS room, and I hate it. So. Like this is, FS room is the dumbest room in the game. Like, I like the FS aesthetic, though. It's just like, who designed this? What intern designed this room? If, the, if this trick was not a thing, <laughs> this game would suck. This game, the speedrun would be awful. You'd have to sit for, here for three minutes. Automatically, the game would be ruined. But mind clip is our savior. I remember the like two weeks where we had to do uh, HD any percent watch, like going through this entire room and dark rooms. They were. Yeah, I really like the uh, like outset FS architecture. I think it looks really cool. I think it's underrated because a lot of people like shit on FS. Like, in, I feel like casually at least, people shit on FS. But I think like both it and Earth Temple have cool aesthetics. They just kind of get like there was two dungeons that are just kind of forgotten a lot of the time. And everyone's like, oh, the neighbor is so cool. So honestly, I feel like the I don't actually like the Lanayru dungeons as much, like as much. I really like like Skyview and like Fire Sanctuary. I like those aesthetics a lot better. FS has a few rooms that are boring. It has a few just like, oh, stone walls, but I think it's mostly interesting. But 
they finna be too. I like the like statues in the Earth Temple and stuff. They're a little weird, but like a good kind of weird, I feel. I feel like Lineru. I mean, I don't like it in a speedrunning sense because it's always kind of the most annoying region. And, uh. I mean, I, I like to casually, but, like, I never was in love with it. I always prefer, like, Elden. I like Volcanoes. They're cool. It's funny because, when, again, whenever people talk about this game, they're like, oh my god, the time shift stones are so cool. And they're like, they're a cool idea, but I, I, I never find the gameplay that interesting here. <laughs> Oh, AC is pretty too. I forgot about that. Yeah. I think Skyview is also a little underrated. I like the color palette in Skyview. It's kind of unique. I, and I love those, uh. I am a sucker for those mushrooms. Like, those little blue mushrooms are so cool. I love those. Wait, we don't need to defend Scrapper Escort. That shit sucks. The Scrapper Escort's garbage. I don't like it ca- Actually, I don't mind it casually, but I do not like it in the speed mode. It can, it can stay out of my categories. It is, yeah, because I, I bested like so many segments this run. Also, I'm gonna, I don't remember to talk to the right right now. There's, there's a clone. <laughs> Someone should tell Rena that there's someone behind her. Yeah, I think the sum of best is not counting the split that I'm recording this one. I think it's the sum of best from when I started. These are it's yeah. Yeah, it hasn't moved. I feel like I'm used to update mid run. It might be like a setting or something.
I need to focus for this RBM. <laughs> I have to copy a file and delete a file, so it just gets funky over here. And we're gonna kill file one, so. Hope you guys didn't get too attached. Hell, I mean, this, this one's like scary. There's so much going on. So it's bonk, delete file one, and it's like file two called a loft wing, then I want to go back to splash screen. We did it. We survived. And then I have to shoot a slingshot seed. Give me a please. And I do the RBM on file three. Alright, we did it. Couldn't tell if those harp noises were duetting or tooling with against each other. <laughs> Alright, here's the final boss of Life Tree Fruit or of Life Fruits, rather, or Light Fruits, sorry. I have no idea. I don't think it matters if it's like a jump slash or a front hop into lava. It's like fairly different. I don't know what's faster or not, but I just do what I'm feeling that day. I think they're like roughly the same. Alright, so can I get through this? Because like almost every single like area you have to go has a light through. You have to dodge something. I think okay, there's none in this tunnel. There's one on the cliff that I need to avoid. It's like right here. Yeah. There's one at the top of this cliff. And there's another one right after it. I did dodge this. And there's one there! Where did that come from? And then I have to do the side hop with this thing here. Right here, yeah. And then this guy. I have to do the front hop there, because no one will hit it. There's one on this ledge. And there's one at the ledge below. You do like really careful when doing that. So we're kinda and then oh wait, there's one before the rope too, that sucks. They're literally everywhere. If you think you've seen the final boss, you haven't yet. They get harder. Because there's one in that crawl space that we're going to need to get through. And there's one right here. No, because we skip Farron Charles, so yeah, we... For, at this point, it's better to try and skip all of them. I need to like angle this better, so that one. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> And there's one, there, there's a few more. There's a few more. <laughs> the, the worst one in this entire trial IMO is uh, the one at the bottom of the slope. This one also sucks. There's one at the bottom of the slope, which is really hard to avoid. Oh, okay. And then there's one more. Now we should be home free. A few more That's the last one. We did it. Go. No light hurts. Yeah, this trial is like the final boss. There are so many light fruits here. Okay. We have one more lumpy dive coming up, and then we're in the end game. We just have to get fast and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to play on file three for a little bit. I still see the light fruits in my head. Whenever like do what I'm doing this we were like, wait shit, I have to avoid the light fruits. No. I'm scared, I'm traumatized. To be fair, they do actually help with your movement a little bit, because uh the one trend with all the light fruits is that they're in like they're all in the center of the uh of like the pathways. So if you take tight lines around everything, usually you should avoid them. But... Hey, thanks, man. That's really nice to hear, yeah, thanks. I'm glad you're enjoying the runs. I hope you get better soon. On a lumpy dive. We just gotta survive this.
really nervous. Okay. <laughs> We're fine. There's a little bit more sense of a dive, but... Alright, at least we're done. No more lumpy dives. Let's not miss the water, because I did this um, in one of my other runs. And if you miss this water, you lose like three minutes. You have to redo the lumpy dive. I would love to never have to do the lumpy dive again. Now we get three quick ones. We like we get three really short RBMs. I kind of like flubbed it. Almost missed bit. <laughs> oh my god. Scaring myself. Um, okay. This one. A little longer, but like, uh, like five seconds.
Then it goes to record pace. Really? This doesn't feel like it should be. But I don't know. I don't really care. We have to get the uh G3 thing. Or the CSW, CSWW. Uh, until I get that, nothing matters. No, Sledgen, because we need full health for this. Uh, we need so we don't have sailcloth, and we need to do the jump down here, and this takes this gives us or this costs four hearts. Now we get to do this on four hearts or on two hearts. Computer science Walter White. Okay. I don't wanna you're being annoying. Those guys were not being nice. Missed the first shield bash, so. I've never gotten hit by doing that, so I just go for it. Hey, Nate. Thank you for good luck. Yeah, you can do the, like, pillar jump with a side hop. I don't like it, personally. I find the, the front hop, like, jump slash is a lot more lenient. Oh, do you not fall all the way down if you fail the side hop? Uh, my arm is getting tired. My arm is getting tired. That's probably all the lumpy diving. He kept like blocking the same exact way. <laughs> oh, you don't run the risk of soft blocking? Yeah, that's fair. Alrighty. So, all of this up to this point 
has not mattered, because now we have to do the one stupid trick. <laughs> I missed it. And this trick, as you can see by the split, may cost me- can cost you a little bit of time. So, as long as I don't- I don't take 33 minutes to get it, we'll- we'll be in good shape. To pick up the hard container, yeah. Alright, so I did kind of figure out what the problem I was having, which is the timing is just so incredibly late. It was like way later than I thought it was, but... Yeah, I can still- I can spend 40 minutes failing it and still be ahead. Alright, so the, if all goes well, this is the final bit of the run. If all does not go well, this is not the final bit of the run. <laughs> so we'll see. But hopefully all goes well. It's the split, yup. I mean, it's just awkward with the emphasis on the ward. timing really late and you should be fine. Hey, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we saved 30 minutes. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Let's see if Horde is- I'm gonna- I can take Horde a little riskier too, because I have a fair. Hey, let's go with this. Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> they put me in prison.
No, I got an arrow. <laughs> yeah, we got an arrow. G3 escape for fun. I'm good. I already paid my any percent tax dollars. This is my brain. I can just kill gear him. <laughs> Break my shield. <laughs> All right, guys, we saved thirty minutes. Moment. <laughs> and it's a, it's a decent feeling. It is one hell of a time save. That's a good luck, little toughie. No, we're not gonna miss record by much. Probably like um, 30 something seconds. Okay. GG. We are, yeah, we're like 30 seconds off record. Okay. Nice. Small PB, I guess. What a shame. Um. <laughs> that was pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I didn't really make. What's a little aggravating is, uh, I can't, no, I can't scroll from the spots. <laughs> So a little aggravating is, uh, so I failed the lumpy dive, and that lost me about three minutes, so if I had not done that, this would have been, like, easily record, but, oh well. That's for next run. Played well, though. I, I had a good, like, good half. Can I, like, just scroll my splits? Is that, like, is that window open, or, like? No, I guess he asked I think what some of the best is an update live. It's a little weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so um That was good that was good. I'm if I uh, don't end up PBing again, I'm not gonna be upset with this. This is pretty good, so. Yeah. Um.
they just I mean just to go over the times this run actually got EB too so that's the only annoying thing about it this run did get EB so uh that kind of sucks but oh well I guess I'll just I'll just have to run against it now so um yeah you know Right, I'm not going to be able to show the rest because it, it's not letting me scroll up, but... Oh well. Suddenly, <laughs> Yeah, so this is, this is just going to be a hard PB to go against because it... It had, uh... It had a lot of good moments, so... But yeah. Um... I guess that's all. Thanks, Beast, for the raid. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know when I'll, when I have time, I'll stream again and do more runs. So, yeah, uh, and hopefully, record next time. We're not far off. We're like thirty seconds off. So I just basically have to get another run that's somewhat close. So, all right. Anyway, thank you for hanging out. And yeah, we'll go raid uh, Toads. He's doing Minish Cap any percent. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.